Look, anything that makes your life easier and allows you to be more productive, you should go for. That's just common sense. I think all IB students will at least, at one point, look into buying their coursework. You know, their IEs, their EEs, their TOK essays, and it's just natural because sometimes you just get so desperate and you're in a tight spot. And I did that. Uh, when I felt totally lost from a math IE, I really looked hard into, you know, what are my possible options? Do I Should I buy a math IE? And honestly, you'd rather pay $200 and get this done uh, than spend two weeks breaking your head and figuring this out for yourself, right? And the question arises, should you buy your IE or should you buy any of your IB coursework? And I think it's helpful to look at the situation in context. So when we put into perspective, the answer kind of kind of shines forth. For example, consider this case. Think about this, a guy from your school, maybe you were friends with him, and let's say he graduated, okay, with a 43. He was top of his class, top of your batch. Uh, and you know, he got top marks. He got sevens in math HL, seven in physics HL. You know, he majors in math in a top class university. And he comes back for a summer break and you tell him all about your IB stress and he says, hey, Jake, you know, if your name's Jake, uh, I do your math IE for you. And you go, really, you would? And he's like, yeah, I've got two months on break and I have nothing to do. You know, I do it for, let's say, 150 pounds. And you go, wow, that's an amazing offer. You know, I have this genius who might do this math IE for me. And you think to yourself and you pause, should I do it? And you really need to look at the risk of the situation. I mean, look, this guy obviously knows what he's doing, right? He got 43 points. He obviously knows math since he got a seven at HL and he's majoring in math in university. You know the guy, probably he's a good guy and he's willing to help. He just wants a little bit of cash for compensation. You know what? He wants to make it worth his time, which isn't bad because you know, he'll give you the, he'll give you a quality IA. You know that that's what he's going to deliver. At the very least, uh, the idea and the maths he gives you will be good enough and all you have to do is make adjustments and you know do the write up which is which is still a very good deal for 150 pounds or whatever value you know you want your math IE to be whatever value you're willing to pay in that situation is it really that risky to buy an IA from him he'll obviously help you when you need to clarify things in your IA and there's a level of trust because you kind of know the guy you know his work's good because he has a 43 in IB you know? You look at the level of risk in the situation and it's pretty low and in that situation honestly personally at least I would probably take him up from his offer and buy an IA from him in the sense that like I tell him to do all the maths and all the working behind it and I just you know do the write-up I'll do the actual IA uh, and that would save me a lot of time but more importantly he's not that shady guy who claims that everyone gets a seven when they buy IAs from him. You know, he's just a guy helping you out. And honestly, if I had a person in that scenario like that, I'd very, very, you know, I'd consider very possible. So I don't have a big problem with things in that case. At the very least, I'll buy an IA with an idea and all the maths behind it and all I have to do is write the report by myself, which is still a good balance. You know, in that situation, my answer is yes, go and, you know, buy your IA from him. In that context, it makes sense to, uh, but that's not true all the time. You see, as much as I would love to buy an IA, I don't trust 100% of the people selling IAs online. I either don't trust that they'll do a good job or I feel that they're just too shady. So consider the second case. These types of people usually fall into two categories. They either are a general essay writing service that also do IB papers or they are IB essay writing services by you know by a shady person and a badly done website. So concerning the first one, an essay writing services that also do IB papers. You know, a quick Google search pops a lot of these websites up, especially when you search something like buy IB TOK essay. And a lot of times you click the link and it takes you to a to a very IB oriented page. They have specific to TOK titles, they have structure, and they talk about how good their TOK IB essay writers are. Uh, and the key takeaway here is what happens when you click the home page of their website. And if you click to the home page and you see that all the services they offer, uh, and it turns out that they offer college board essays, they offer PhD essays, they do uh, research essays, and they don't only do IB. The question is how IB specific are they gonna get in your IA or with your essay? Even with something like a TOK essay, it's not just a philosophical essay. You can't just get a university professor teaching philosophy and tell them to do your to do your to do your TOK essay. There's a certain structure that needs to be followed. You know, there's a pattern in which you present your arguments, 
and these are specific to the TOK essay. And if your essay writer makes essays for every single program uh, and they aren't IB specialized, what are the chances of you getting a really good essay? Even in the math IA, does the, does the IA writer know the difference between a general math paper and an IB specific math IA? Does he follow the rubrics with which you will be assessed with? Does he stick to the course theory at your prescribed level of maths? And most likely, websites like this do not. Again, I you know there are a lot of these websites and some of them may do a good job, but I think most of them do not. And I'm just saying, even if, you're, even if your IA was plagiarism free, right? And the website boasts 100% plagiarism free, What's the point of having a plagiarism free IA if it's still not a good IA? It's not IB specific. You know, what's the point of paying that money if it's not going to really help you? So keep that in mind. Personally, I stay away from general essay writing services uh, that also do IB courses, like also do IB assignments. As a general precaution, I do not recommend these types of services. Okay, what about the second one? Now, I'm not going to show you an example of this website because it's extremely easy to come across uh, websites like this. Uh, but usually it has a ton of results. Um, you know, when you do a Google search, a ton of results come up of shady websites that sell specific IB coursework, you know, a specific IBIA, that's all they do is IB things. Uh, and usually a good indicator of a scammy service is, you know, they usually have a ton of stock photos. They claim that everyone that gets a seven when they use their service, they claim that they can do major things in a short span of time. like. They, they, they say that you can get, you know, a level AEE in three days or a physical HL IA in a day. And when you correspond with them, you can kind of see that they they really, really want you to buy their IA. Like, you know, they don't mind bargaining. Um, so, you know, you can see that it's very, very focused on the money. And I know one of my friends bought their bought his econ IA from this guy from, from, I don't know what website, but he ended up getting a 5 out of 14. Now, it wasn't plagiarized, but it wasn't good. And I took a look at it and it was pretty awful. I mean, even if the website wasn't shady, when you buy whatever IB coursework you, you know you get from an online guy, the point is you don't know that person. There's no level of trust like you did with that friend. You don't know much about him. You don't know if he's selling you something plagiarized. You know, a lot of these people say, uh, these online sellers of IAs and E's, they say that they'll give you a screenshot of Turnitin saying that it's less than 5% plagiarized. But you know how hard is it for how hard is it for them to give you a fake image or how how reliable is something like that how reliable is that screenshot and also even if you get the slightest chance of getting caught with plagiarism remember this everything goes down the drain you don't get your diploma you feel whatever hard you know everything any type of hard work you put in for this two year program it all goes to waste and if you're willing to take that risk by all means I mean. Maybe it'll work hard for you uh, because I'm sure some of them are genuine. Some of them probably do a good job. I haven't found any. Uh, and for that reason, most likely it's not going to work out. Some of them, uh, some of these websites actually advertise giving feedback on your IA. Uh, so what they'll do is you send your IA in, they'll review it, uh, and they give you notes. Some of them are actually pretty legit. I've looked at these websites. Uh, but again, you know, uh, some of them are really shady and you could risk your coursework, whatever, whatever, whatever I have done, whatever half of it, uh, it could be sold off. Right. And I think in the core, it boils down to credibility. How credible is the person you're buying your IA from? And that's kind of the main point. Well, you know, for my math, IA, I'll be honest, I didn't buy my math, IA, but I did take a lot of tutoring sessions with an IB experienced teacher and she guided me a lot in that. Like, I mean, I already had a good topic, uh, but she really helped me build upon that. And, you know, she helped me nail those IB specific rubrics and she was very experienced as an IB tutor. Every year she'd help, you know, 25, like 20 to 25 students with their IB math IAs. And I asked some of those students that went to her for, for tutoring sessions, because they graduated from my school. And I'm like, how did it go? A lot of them got really high marks for their IA and some, a lot of them got sevens as a total grade for both their SL exams and their HL exams for math. So that high level of credibility was there. I knew I'm not getting scammed. I knew I'd get quality and I knew that out of all these tutoring sessions, no matter what price I'm paying, uh, I'd get a good solid IA in the end. And really in all these, situa in all these situations I presented to you, it boils down again to credibility. That guy, you know, who got a 43, he, uh, that friend, you know, he had credibility. You knew what he was capable of. You knew the guy, there's a level, 
there's a small connection. You, you just know that most likely you're not going to get scammed, right? Like, you know that guy has the talent. Uh, but the general essay writing services and the shady scammers, you, they don't have the credibility. And the last two cases, it goes without saying, you know, no, I'm not buying, I wouldn't buy an IA uh, from, from these websites and from these scammers. Uh, you'd rather find a successful student that went to your school, you know, he graduated, uh, pay him about $200 and tell him to help you with your, IA, with your IA ID or something like that. Also, you know, online there are some really good websites that help IB students in terms of tutoring and they're very IB specific. Some of them are really, really legit uh, with really, really high credibility and I'll do a separate video on that because there are some really good ones. Uh, but, you know, just remember, when, be wary about buying your IA fully. Like buying a full IA, you know, you got to be careful with it. Get help wherever you can. Uh, if you need somebody, find an experienced tutor or get a successful student to help you. But remember, you don't want to lose your diploma because of plagiarism. Uh, and even if your friends seem to be doing it and it seems like it'll fix their situation in terms of time and productivity, be careful. You know, it's not worth losing that full diploma. All right. Hope that helped. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Bye.